Congratulations, you've obviously gotten into Canvas and you've gotten into our class and you might be wondering where is it that I'm supposed to go next? All right, chances are that you are looking at this page right here. Here we go. Uh, this is where this video is located. You can't see it yet because I haven't made it yet. Um, so you're here on our homepage, which is where you are taken whenever you enter our class through Canvas. And each week when I make a new module available, you will find a link to that module. This week, week one, that link is right here. I also have a link to a handy dandy help module if you need help. Chances are, if you're looking at this video, you do need some help. If the link is not here, or if you can't find it, or if you're just confused or what have you, no problem. You can look over here in this menu bar and you will see modules, okay? Now, real quickly, this thing way over here is the Canvas menu. This menu is the same in all of your Canvas classes and uh, it functions exactly the same no matter what class you're in. In fact, this account button right here is where you're going to go to upload a profile picture of yourself if you have not already done so. Because I want to see a symbol or a picture that is associated with you. I hate this little gray silhouette person. Just not a very exciting thing to look at. So this is the Canvas menu. This here is the class menu. And honestly, you're going to spend most of your time right up here in these, all right? When you come into the class, you land on the home page. Unless something really bizarre happens, you're going to find a link to our latest module, okay? But if you can't find it, you can always just click on modules. And this will contain every module for our class. And there's a couple of ways that you can go through these. Uh, probably the easiest way is to do start here and take a second for that cute graphic to come up. And this tells you what you're going to find in this module. And you can click out to the next one there's all kinds of stuff if you need help with Canvas, if you need tech support, if you want to find your instructor, if you want to find your syllabus, so on and so forth. So if you think, oh, I need some help with any one of the things that you see here, you can click directly on them. You can next arrow through the module, whatever is easiest for you. In terms of our class, once we get into the content, okay, Every time, I'm going to take us back out to the home page here, every time we have a link to a new module, you will see something that looks kind of like this, like our first week. And what shows up is a landing page when we go to week one, welcome to our class, week one, start here and read the whole thing. And you will always find week two, read this, week two, get started here, week two, don't blow this off, you know, something along that, those lines. So what you'll see when you click on this is, wow, one-stop shop, everything you need to complete that week, you will find on that landing page, all right? So uh, all the assignments, everything that's due, our learning objectives, and again, you can kind of next it through the module if you like, and it will take you through each one of the pages. Or you can uh, keep hitting, it's totally up to you, it just kind of depends on how you like to navigate. If, let's say, you say, oh, I want to go check out this, how Zoom works, how to download Zoom, and how to get into a Zoom session. Okay, here's this page, and it does all that. Here's how to download Zoom. Super easy. Here's how to get Zoom on your phone or on your iPad or whatever. Here's a link to the Zoom Breaker assignment. Okay, cool. That That's good. Wait, I want to go back to that page. How do I go back? You just hit previous and it takes you to the page that you were last on then you can check out the course syllabus I haven't linked it yet not that haven't gotten that far yet uh, you can check out our course schedule the zoom breaker assignment and so on and so forth so basically everything you're gonna need is where it says week one start here or week two click this or week three so on and so forth I try to keep things very simple very streamlined very organized that's the way my brain works I know it's kind of dangerous to assume that everybody's brain works the same way but uh, feedback from my students is this is a pretty uh, simple well-organized um, 
and very clear way to get through a class. So this is how our class is structured. You will also see links to assignments. So if you ever want to see, hey, what assignments are we going to do for this class? I'm still adding assignments to this class, so this look isn't exhaustive yet. Uh, but things that are upcoming, things that are undated, things that are completed, you will see in assignments. Same thing with discussions, discussions that are um, scheduled, discussions that are in the class but haven't been assigned to a particular module yet, so on and so forth. You will spend some time in grades. Uh, I hope that you will frequently check your grade and you'll see every assignment that you've done, uh, you know, and it's arranged by due date and your score on the assignment, obviously we haven't done them yet, and the total possible on the assignment. Quick thing to note about Canvas. It defaults, see here where it says calculate based only on graded assignments. Okay, now this is cool because let's say I haven't graded something yet. Canvas doesn't calculate that in the grade. That's kind of nice. But what if you didn't do an assignment? If you didn't do it, probably haven't graded it. So uh, every now and then students will say, wait, Miss Haug, I don't understand. It says I have 92% in the class. And I say, sweetheart, you're missing six assignments. <laughs> you know, there's absolutely no way you can have 92% in the class. So you can take this off if you want. The good news is, is that it gives you uh, usually a more accurate picture. The bad news is that's usually a more dismal picture. If you haven't done assignments or I haven't graded them yet, it lo you know, it looks terrible type of thing. Um, so just keep that in mind that, that ungraded assignments are aren't being calculated in your grade. Um, I try, if you don't turn something in, to assign it a zero grade, and so then it is considered graded and it is calculated in your grade, but um, if you've missed something and, and it's not graded, you just see a dash there, uh, remember that that does factor into your grade, so keep that in mind. If you want to see who's in the class, you can click on this people menu over here, and there's a list of all the folks that are currently in our class. You'll also sometimes see um, some instructors who are hopping into the class uh, to check out online public speaking and get some ideas and tips. So don't be alarmed if you're like, whoa, isn't that pretty? Hey, this lady's a teacher at the college. What's she doing in here? Um, we just try to help each other out as instructors and we'll sometimes give each other access to our classes. Um, those, are the, those are the ones that you're going to use on a regular basis. Um, and honestly, you're going to spend most of your time way up here. Home, every time you come into the class, this is where you land. Like I said, when a new module is added, there will be a link to that module right here. Um, usually it puts the most recent things first, so it'll be above this. But yeah, you'll see, hey, week two module is open. Week three, you can click on that and it takes you to the module. And there's always at the top of that module that start here page, and that will give you everything you need to know, everything you need to do uh, for that particular week. If you get stuck, if you have any issues, if you have any problems, if you have any questions, go right over here to your help button in Canvas and ask your instructor a question. And you are able to send me uh, an email that way. It goes straight to my uh, email account. So if you ever get stuck or if you have a suggestion or a tip or just want to say hi, hope you'll get in there and email me. Hope this was helpful for you. And I hope you have a very successful first week in our class. And I look forward to seeing you in our Zoom session this week.